Hello, my dear Capricorn friends. Um, I hope July is going well for you. We are not really going to look into planetary stuff because you can already feel the shifts happening. You already know how they are affecting you. You probably can see things in your life leaving because of the eclipses and things coming back in. So let's just get on with the cards, all right? Knight of Cups is the first card. So <clears throat> there's a very genuine offer coming towards you. Um, we did talk about the lessons that you were learning this month in the first half of July. Uh, I feel like with the Four of Swords, I kind of want to say, are you skeptical about this offer coming towards you? Are you not really sure if you should trust it? Because the Four of Swords, to me, I really want to say that you can probably look at this differently than you think. Cut ties with the idea of the way you think it's going to go and kind of let it flow a little bit freer. A little bit more free than, you know, are you being too hard? Because the Knight of Cups to me seems like a very innocent, and this could be you wanting to offer to somebody else. Yeah. You are kind of being a little bit stubborn. Two of Wands and the Ten of Cups, because you're like... <clears throat> All of these lessons that are accumulating in July for you and during cancer season, we're going into Leo season now. Um, I feel like you're being very cautious about the um, decisions that you're making because you don't want it to affect your happiness. <clears throat> But are you being a little too stubborn? Are you affecting your happiness by being too cautious? Nine of Pentacles. Because, I mean, things are going okay. They're not terrible. Um, might be a little bit wonky with the energies and stuff. But all in all, things don't look really horrible. So if you were to make a decision that could affect your happiness in some way, um, <coughs> yeah, I feel like you're being a little too cautious right now. Like, And maybe even I'm good alone. I don't need to offer anybody anything. I am good alone. The Three of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles. That's okay too. It really is, you know, I mean, this whole I've got this kind of attitude works. Just make sure you're not missing out on something that's genuine by doing that. If you close yourself off and you're too cautious about the decisions that you're making, you could miss something that could be really, really good for you. But if you just want to like... Go it alone. Things look pretty good. Um, it's funny because I really wanted to do um, your reading. And each time I went into the energy, I was like, this is actually, even though so many planets are retrograde, it's almost like this retrograde for you, this retrograde period, is kind of reestablishing your boundaries and making life seem a little bit easier. Not necessarily the easiest, like yes, you're still going to have to do the work, yes, you're still going to have to live day to day, but the pressure, you know, the pressure of whatever, you know, it's like things are coming to you a little bit easier. Life is happening a little bit easier. <clears throat> Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. Don't get stuck that you're not going to, the Eight of Swords is a self-imposed imprisonment of the mind. 
Because, and if you stay blindfolded like this, you're not going to see the abundance coming to you because it's happening and it is coming to you. And, and the thing is, is like you just went through all of these really harsh lessons about yourself. And, I mean, is it almost too easy? Does it seem like things are a little bit too calm? And you're like, oh, the calm before the storm. Let's not get into a pessimistic mindset. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Earth signs can do that. Let's clarify some of these. There aren't any major arcanas out yet. So that's why I'm really feeling like the energy is actually not as harsh. Um, try not to make things harder than they have to be. You know, I always tell clients, why do we always make life so hard? Why does life have to be so hard? Sorry, I have to do this. My lips are really dry. So sorry. I know. I can't believe I just did that. Some people will comment on that because why would I do anything human on camera? It's terrible, right? <laughs> I'm just being, I'm like, seriously, I just want to pick on people today. That's the mood that I'm in. And you guys are making things really easy for me. So I like it. Thank you for that, by the way. Like hanging out in your energy for a couple of hours before I started your reading. It was like, all right, let's do this, Cap. Let's do this. So the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Wands. Yeah, and this is what I mean. You keep going back and forth on this offer. And instead of like going back and forth on it, just sit with it. And kind of look at it in a different way. Like, why do you have to make, why does it have to be so hard? Don't make it so hard. And it's because the energy has been really, really heavy. So you may be, a lot of people are in the mindset of, do I want to start anything new during retrograde season? Do I want to put myself out there during retrograde season? It's eclipse season also. Don't make it so hard. Let the energy come to you. Let the energy flow to you. So, Four of Swords. Whoa. There was like 600 cards that wanted to come out right there. There aren't really 600 cards that wanted to come out. They just were. <clears throat> Seven of Pentacles. Are you waiting for something better to come along? Because this seems like a very genuine, very innocent offer. But I feel like maybe you're waiting for something better. Like that's that might not be good enough for you. Are you waiting for a specific person? What's the two of wands? Because I feel like you're in the middle of making a decision on, is this going to be my happily ever after? Or, you know, I'm not really sure. What is this two of wands? And we've talked about being in the eight of swords before. You don't want to do that. This is an illusion. The eight of swords is an illusion. So don't do that to yourself. Two of Wands, Queen of Swords. Who's the Queen of Swords, guys? Air sign. <clears throat> is this the love of my life, or is this just somebody to distract me until I find the love of my life? Very complacent energy. So, Ten of Cups. Page of Swords. Um, I do think you're being very honest with yourself about this, and I don't want you to settle. If this Queen of Swords is somebody that you know will make you very, very happy, then I think you need to be honest with yourself and kind of just like push yourself to do it. If you think that this Queen of Swords is somebody that is just kind of eh in your life, I want you to be honest with yourself. Um, and truthfully, when it comes down to it, I really think that this is not your priority this month. This relationship, it's, it's so, it's so, um, I wanted to say blasé, but it's not really like that. It's more of, um, you could, I mean, it could be in your life. It's not going to kill you if you do it without it. 
I feel like you're doing you. And more than anything, the concern for July is money. And I feel like because you've learned all of these lessons, this Ace of Pentacles is going to be much easier to come by than you think. Let's clarify what the Ace of Pentacles is because I don't want you to be up in your head about all of this business that's going on. I feel like this gift from the universe is actually going to show up in a much easier way than you're letting it show up. Yeah, six of wands. Exactly. It's You're going to get it. You're going to get the job. You're going to get the raise. It may not happen in July, but it's coming. And I feel like if you sit here in this Eight of Swords and you kind of torture yourself with it, you're not going to see it coming. And you want to see it coming. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. I feel like if we look at the bottom of the deck, we might get some more answers for you guys. So Ten of Swords, Two of Cups, King of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Page of Cups and the Lovers. Oh me, oh my. This is why that relationship is kind of like, eh. So you could be dealing with a Gemini, since we have the Lovers card here. But you're right in the middle of this let's just call it mess. It's messy. Seems a little bit messy. If you are contemplating ending a relationship, either this is you, this king of pentacles is you, or it's another earth sign, we're going to say it's you. I feel like it is. Um, <clears throat> either you're holding this person at bay because you're afraid that it's going to be totally devastating, because let's be honest, the ten of swords, swords are thoughts. You think that it's going to be totally devastating. It may not be. That may not be the future prediction. But if you're going to concern yourself with money this month, that's fine. Or the job this month, that's okay, because that looks really good. What you don't know about is the Two of Cups. Is that going to work? I don't know. Right? Um, so far, I don't think July is the month for relationships, honestly. We have the Ten of Wands and the Page of Cups with the Lovers. So you want, you have been working really, really hard towards this relationship or connection or person or whatever, and you're not fully satisfied by it. In fact, you're kind of overburdened. And if you don't know who this person is, in your life and somebody shows up in July and that's what's burdening you and you're not really sure how to it's like you want to have more from this person but it's too much of a burden for you to even think about or do it don't worry about it because your money looks good and let's be honest when our love when our love life I mean like we're being real here right we're being totally honest in fact I feel like that should be the name of the video total honesty because when it comes down to it, I don't feel like the relation part of your life is that big of a deal right now. You don't want to make it a big deal. Because you're done making it a big deal. You're done making it a big deal. Ten of swords, ten of wands. You want the ten of cups. You want this full happiness. You want this happy ever after. And if there's a person in your existence that could be distracting you, so that you can get to this happily ever after, that's fine. If you have to cut a person out and make that decision to cut a person out because they're overburdening to you, that could be your happily ever after. Let's see what the lover's card is. Since it's like the only major arcana here, let's clarify it. <clears throat> Could be with a Sagittarius, but if you don't concern yourself with the lover's relationship or connection for the month of July, I want to tell you that in due time, it'll happen. I feel like there's this balancing that's happening with you and this person, 
and just kind of coming to that mind and heart balance that temperance gives you so that you're not overly concerned. So you don't have to be so overly concerned about it. Because it's been a burden. You want more from this person, and they're not giving it to you, so you're going to give back to yourself. I don't think it's a bad thing to focus on your money this month. I really don't. I think it's actually a pretty good thing. Okay, so I hope you guys are having a really good July. Thank you for your patience with this reading. I really, really, really appreciate your patience. Um, really quick, don't click off um, the video just yet because there are a couple of announcements I do want to make. I will be in New York on Friday evening. If you would like to get $10 off the tickets, check the event right link below. And Boston for next Friday, same thing. Um, when I say below, it's in the description box underneath this video. Just click on the little arrow thing. You can also go to my website, fearlessintuition.net, to get in-person readings for the weekend that I'm there. You do not have to go to the workshop to do the in-person readings. You could do one or the other or both. I would love to meet everybody, but that's just me. So um, click the Eventbrite link below um, for those. Also, I have email readings, just a few of them out there on my website. Um, Remember that when you order, please email me with your question, your sign, and the, and the other person's first name and sign if there's anybody else involved. It will take 10 to 14 business days to get those email readings out. Please make sure you email me with all of that information after you order so that I can get the email to, or the reading to you within the 10 to 14 business days after you So after I get that question from you is when the 10 to 14 business days works. Um... What else? What else? Oh, I do also have relationship. The soulmate readings are available. Um, there are like 10 left for July. If you would be interested in getting a soulmate reading. Um, anything else? Anything else? I'll be in Austin August 20th, or I'm sorry, August 17th. Um, and I will be in Atlanta, Georgia on August 24th. So, I hope you are all doing well. Thank you for staying to the end of the video for all of the announcements. And I love you all. I'll see you for August. Bye.